Good morning, everyone. It's cold and rainy this morning. Typical November rain kind of day. Leaving the cave, heading back home. Got stuff to do today. We're gonna make a nice soup today. Maybe that'll warm me up a little bit. I have some butternut squash. Do a nice soup. I have a little bit of a Salvation Army haul to share with you. I've been working on some happy mail finally. I'll show you some postcards I did. And you know, we'll chat about this and that. How are you guys doing? The week is just flying away again. I have a way of doing that. So I hope everyone's doing well. And it's warm and cozy. Tom and I have to go out to the store later and pick up some bird food before there's a revolt on my deck. And I had a nice lunch yesterday with my daughter Danielle and my granddaughter Cammie. It's not often we get a girl's day. Carter was in school, so we went to our local pizza joint and played some pinball, had some fun with some Snapchat. I posted some pictures on Facebook yesterday. Um, I tried to download Snapchat a while ago, and right around the same time, everybody was doing Periscope. Whatever happened to that? Anyway, I couldn't figure out, I'm so technologically impaired, I couldn't figure out how to do the filters and all that stuff, so I gave up on it, but my daughter was showing me yesterday and we had a blast. It was hilarious. I was laughing so hard, you know, when your stomach hurts. So that was fun. And what else? Giving you the rundown. Um, my granddaughter, uh, my granddaughter, I got grandkids on the mind. That's all I talk about. My grandson Carter spent the night uh, over the weekend and we had a nice, just chilling out, watching movies. I finally got to see, I know I'm like a year late. I finally got to see um, Through the Looking Glass with, um, you know, Tim Burton's, with Johnny Depp as the Mad Hatter and all that, which I enjoyed. And we watched The Princess Bride for, oh, I don't know, for me, it was probably, well, I've seen that movie well over a hundred times. Um, yeah, thumbs up to any anyone who's seen it, loves it, obviously. I can't believe my friend Holly, my girlfriend Holly, never saw the movie. She posted that she had never seen it. So, Halls, go watch the movie. All right, guys, we're pulling in right now, and I see my neighbor, Peggy. Her car is home, and she's on vacation this week. And she's going to come over for some coffee tomorrow. But that's tomorrow. So let's stick with today for right now. I'll see you guys inside. Well, as you can see, it's a good day to make some soup. So, nice rainy day, it's cold. It's probably about 50, that's not too cold. So, I'll give you the uh, wheelchair tour here. And I'll show you what we got going on today, a little bit, not much, but, um, oh, I know, I'll show you the, try not to go too fast, la 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 la. I have some things that I dehydrated I want to show you. I'll show you these postcards I'm working on. Turn the light on a little bit. I love doing these cards just on cardboard, you know. So I'm not done with them yet. But they're loaded with good yummy texture. And I finally got my butt moving. And I'm going to be sending out some happy mail. 
I hate when that's hanging over my head. I feel guilty about it. Because I'm so thankful for you guys for thinking of me. And I want to be able to reciprocate. So aren't these cool though? I had a lot of fun with them. I did not film anything. I just felt like playing with some paint. And um, yeah. So I'm going to further embellish them. I've already started cutting these out. Um, these are some of my old black and white Zen Tangle prints I've done in the past. And I'm going to incorporate them here. And I thought maybe I would do a triple moon, you know, with a crescent on either side. So we'll see. I'm not finished with them yet, but those are fun. And I also have, I'm um, going to get started on Mission Inspiration page for November. And we have picked a theme in the Gypsy and the Witch. So that's coming up. There's also a hashtag event, event in the Creative Arts Collaboration I would like to take part in this month. Fingers crossed. And I also have an idea for a new project using some of those mixed media cards that I got. Um, so, big plans. I still need to make some body butter this week. Um, let me show you what I've been dehydrating. And you guys already know... Uh, some of this, hang on a second, you know, it's funny, I took down my uh, Halloween decorations, but I left up my kitchen witch here, and there's votive holders in the back of it, two of them actually, which look cool at night, so she's hanging out there, next to Ellie and Craven, and my Caradwin goddess, that's one of those um, Zentangle picks that I cut the circles from. Anyway, focus, Cali, focus. Dehydrator. This I have to take these out today, but I made my own raisins. I'm so excited. Sorry. Look at these, you guys. Um, and this is like two days, and I put uh, green seedless grapes, and I have these ginormous chewy raisins. Aren't they beautiful? I'm so excited about my dehydrating, as you can tell. And I also need to clean my coffee pot. Um, I'll show you what I've done so far. These are um, banana slices, which I just did the other day. And they're really delicious. And again, look how the sugars just caramelize on top of these. Really good. I'm still getting used to how long I need to do everything. The dehydrator works really well, so it's like a day or two. Um, I prefer things really crisp. So I think everyone is individual based on your humidity, etc. These are little orange slices. I can't open everything, can I? You can do it, Callie. Um, these were like little uh, halo oranges. So, and they're so good. They have that, they just snap, you know. See? And, yeah, I showed you, I think, pineapple. I'll show you everything. Make it a mess. i got to get ready to cook some soup. These are super delicious. I think I let these go a little too long. These are a little harder, but, you know, you they soften up in your mouth. And you could chew this for, like, seems like 10 minutes, but I really like them. I'd much rather eat dehydrated fruit than um, soft fruit, believe it or not. It depends, I think, maybe. But I'm so glad to have this. And these are the apple slices, and I did some more that are a little softer than the last batch. So that came out great. And I wanted to try um, a jerky. Now, obviously I'm not gonna do beef, so I saved some of this to show you because it was really delicious. I used this um, Nasoya Extra Firm Tofu, and you just weight it down uh, with some paper towels and something heavy on top. And I took a recipe from this book that I got from my sister Carol, my friend and sister Carol here on YouTube and in the internet. 
Um, this is a great recipe book. And there was a recipe for this uh, marinade. What did I do with it? Um, that's not it. Here you go. For tofu jerky. And it was basically soy sauce, liquid smoke, ketchup, brown sauce, which I use like a teriyaki sauce, uh, hot sauce, water, maple syrup, and garlic. And I just marinated the tofu in this. And then I put it in the dehydrator on one of the trays that I have. And it was like, I think it was at 160 for like overnight, basically. And I saved some of this. This would be amazing. On uh, It's amazing as is. Tom thought it could use a little salt, and I'd have to agree with him. Oh my God. Yes, I know how to open a Ziploc bag. Um... But for the first time, I thought it was really good. These would be amazing, like on a BLT sandwich or something. You can see this is still moist. Um, it's been in the refrigerator. But I kept this a little bit softer um, so we don't break any teeth around here. But super delicious and kind of reminiscent of bacon with the liquid smoke on it. And speaking of bacon... We went to, uh, we've been shopping at Walmart uh, lately, and I used to primarily shop at ShopRite because I got great deals with my coupons and things like that. But we did head over to ShopRite this week. I wanted to get some olives, and I checked out their uh, vegan department, which has expanded. And shout out to ShopRite. They had, um, you guys have seen me get the smart hot dogs and things like that at Walmart. Well, ShopRite had this Light Life, wait, here's the brand, sorry about the glare, Light Life brand, these are organic smoky tempeh strips, and it's fake and bacon, okay, so I tried these out when my grandson was here this weekend, and look, it's not bacon, so you can't, you know, Thank God it's not a dead pig. No, sorry. I was a huge bacon fan. I love bacon. Um, I get it. The taste is amazing, but I no longer eat meat, obviously. So um, anyway, long story short, I didn't really enjoy it that much. It was okay, um, but this is, I saved a piece just to show you. This is what it looked like after it was cooked up. It's definitely not bacon, but again, in a sandwich or something. Uh, it has a good meaty kind of a consistency and it has a good flavor, but it wasn't as close to bacon as I've heard that, you know, if you guys have any recommendations or recipes that I could try uh, for fake faking, uh, let me know. But this was good. I don't know that I would buy it again, but it was all right. Now we did get, cause I want to try and I haven't tried these yet. Maybe I'll try these next week. Um, these veggie ham slices. Now, Tom tried these, and he said they were okay, but again, um, we're lacking flavor. So, I don't know. But these could be all right. You know, I like a, just a veggie sandwich. You guys know when I go to Subway, I just get veggies on a roll. So, to throw a couple of these slices in for protein and stuff, um, I don't think is a, is a bad thing. They're... Um, what is it? Plant-based. Trying to look for ingredients here. Yeah, I don't, you know. Water of vital wheat, gluten, soy protein, evaporated cane syrup, tapioca, baker's yeast, sea salt, um, natural smoke, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so not bad. Sorry about the glare. We'll try these out. And also, remember the cheese, the Parmesan cheese that we got in the um, vegan cuts box? Well, I did get a chance to try that at Tom's uh, a couple of nights ago. We made pasta, and both of us tried it on our, and it was amazing, so good. And it was this brand, Go Veggie, and also we had gotten the mozzarella shreds, also super good, melts great, tastes great, very, very close to mozzarella, excellent. So I'm looking forward to trying these um, Go Veggie cheesy American-style singles like in a grilled cheese or something. So um, 
Maybe we'll do that later while the while the soup is cooking. Maybe I'll make a sandwich or something. But I wanted to show you guys that. And speaking of soup, I have these butternut squashes here. So I thought we'd just put together a soup. It can cook, you know, while I'm doing other stuff today. And yeah, so let me uh, get ready to do that. And like I said, I'll share with you stuff I got at the Salvation Army and... Maybe we'll do that while the um, oven's heating up because I want to do like roast the vegetables before we make the soup. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, let's make some soup. I've preheated my oven to 350 Fahrenheit. I told you we're going to roast some vegetables. So um, this is what we're working with. I have the two squash and they're, you know, small to medium size. These are butternut squash. We're going to use a whole onion, and I'll just kind of quarter that. I'm going to roast a whole head of garlic. Um, I'll cut off the top, drizzle a tiny bit of olive oil, put a little bit of salt and pepper, and put it in my garlic roaster. And we'll let that go along with the veggies. And we're going to use my carrots before I can't use them anymore. They're pretty sad, but we'll chop those up too. And what else? So we're going to roast those, and then... When we're done, we're going to add a little bit of this coconut cream, tiny bit of maple syrup. Um, I'm a savory girl, not a sweet girl, so but we're just going to add a little bit of that salt and pepper, or pepper and salt, a little bit of ground ginger, you know, grated ginger, uh, some coriander, a little bit of cayenne. I have some olive oil here, and this is homemade vegetable broth. And this is probably, I don't know, two cups. So we'll add some water to that too. So I will see you back here. I'll show you how we're going to cut up the squash. Okay, before we peel the squash, I thought we'd do the garlic. And I grabbed another head because if you know me and garlic, one of anything is never enough. I'm just going to slice off the top of this all the way across to expose the tops of the cloves. Leave all the skin on the outside. Okay, I'm going to put that in there. I'll do the same thing with this guy. Don't chop your fingers off. It's really worth the extra step. I love roasted garlic. When these are done, we're going to pop them right out of their skin and add them to our soup, which we'll be pureeing. So I want to kind of smash these in here together. Okay, so then I just have a little bit of olive oil that I put in this dish, and I have a brush, and we're just going to brush the top. If you don't have a garlic roaster, my daughter got me this for Christmas one year, you can um, wrap them in parchment foil and foil, or just foil if you want. Okay, so a little bit of olive oil and then some fresh cracked pepper. I like a lot. And I'm also going to use a little bit of, I, I forgot that I have this um, Celtic sea salt. Just a little bit. Don't get scared. I'm not using all of that. Okay. And a pinch over the left shoulder. <laughs> All right, so then we'll put this on, and this is going to go in the oven right along with our vegetables. So the next thing, I'll be right back, and we'll do the squash. All right, let's cut some squash. This is the way I do it. Please be careful. I'm going to use a big knife, and I also have a heavy-duty peeler. Actually, I have two, uh, depending on how thick the skin is. We're going to take the top off and the bottom off, so be careful. And I hope you can see this okay. But I'm just going to, you know, go slow. There's no rush. They're very tough. You want to have a sharp knife and just take it off. Okay? Same thing with the bottom. Be careful. While it's like this, it's easy to stand, obviously, 
and then I'm just going to take the peeler and begin the long, slow, tedious process of peeling the squash, okay? So I'm going to do this, and when I'm done, I'll be back, and we'll cut it, and then we're going to take all the seeds out. See you in a minute. Okay, that's what we're looking at here. It's a tedious process, and I got one more to do, but I'll show you what the next step. I'm going to just cut this right down the middle, and that's how we're going to get the seeds out. So, again, careful, careful, careful. It's much easier with the skin off now. And just really have this bottom part to deal with. So I have a bowl and a spoon and I'm just gonna, just like you do with a pumpkin, scoop these out. Okay. You can save them and grow your own butternut squash next year. Or you could just put everything in the compost pile. I've grown vegetables out of the compost pile before. It's hilarious. Okay, so you get all the seeds off and get the gunk out. And then we're just going to slice it. Hang on. Okay. I'm going to slice it and dice it. All right. This is what we're looking like. Do this one in a second. And then I'm just going to take it and lay it flat side down. And cut slices. You know, do it however you want, but try to keep them uniform so they cook evenly. Okay, we'll slice it all the way through. And then I'm just gonna cute, you know, make little cubes like that. Okay, so let me finish up with both squash and we'll do the same thing with the carrots and the onion, but I'll see you back here when the squash is done. Okay, so this is what I wound up with, with the squash. There's a lot here, you guys. And I debated on adding a couple of, um, you know, regular potatoes too, but I decided to just stop. I have a tendency to cook for an army. This will just be Tom and I eating this, so. Uh, but it'll freeze well. And you know what else I was thinking? Do you guys know if you can roast the butternut squash seeds like you do with pumpkin seeds? Let me know if you guys have ever tried that. I was thinking that as I was doing this too. So we have these. And then, honestly, I'm not going to show you. I'm going to chop up these carrots. I'll peel them. Chop them up. Just a rough chop. I'm going to peel the onion. You know, quarter it. And leave it big. And then we'll um, mince up some ginger too. Just a little bit. Like, you know, maybe that much. Okay, I'll peel it and then I'll mince it. I'm not going to show you all that. When we get all that done, I'm going to put everything together. I have a big roasting pan here. And we'll just add a couple, maybe a tablespoon or a little more of olive oil, the salt and pepper, some of the spices. We'll mix it up all together. We'll put that in the oven along with our garlic and let that roast for about an hour or so. So I'll see you when I get all this chopped up and everything's in the pan ready to go in the oven. Okay, so everything's chopped, and actually the ginger we're going to add later on when we add the coconut milk. We're not going to add it to the roasted vegetables. So I have about uh, two tablespoons of olive oil here. I'm just going to pour it over the squash, and I'm going to add, you saw the carrots, so I just chopped them up. And I think that I'm going, to, we'll add everything in here. Here's the onion. Again, I just did a big rough chop. We're going to wind up pureeing this when it's all done. Um, we'll do some fresh ground pepper. I like a lot. And do some of the sea salt. Just 
you know, about that much or so. You guys know me. I never measure anything. All right. My hands are clean. I'm going to just get in here and kind of mix everything around. And there are a lot of veggies here. So what I'm going to do is transfer some of this to uh, a greased cookie sheet because I don't have another big roasting pan um, because otherwise these are going to steam more as opposed to roast. So I'm just going to split this up, put some on another pan. I'm going to put them in the oven with the garlic for an hour and then I'll see you guys back here when these are all nice and roasted. Okay? See you in a bit. Okay, I just wanted to show you before I put these in how I split them up. They'll roast a lot better this way. All right, so the oven is set at 350. I'll let them go for an hour. I'm also going to put our little garlic in there as well. And while this is roasting, I may as well show you what I got from the Salvation Army. So let me set up the tripod, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm on the floor in front of the door right now for the best lighting in the house. It's so overcast, even with all the lights on. I tried to film on the couch, and there was no way I could do it. So uh, for those of you I talked about last week that I was going for a follow-up appointment for my leg, and on that day, Tom and I decided to make it a date day and went out to lunch to one of our favorite Indian restaurants. We went to one of our favorite stores, the Sunshine Studio. Shout out to Sunshine Studio picked up a little bit of incense um, I took it out of the boxes already it's on my altar back there but I tried a new you know how I feel about my nag champa um, always die hard forever my favorite but the same company Satya did a patchouli incense so picked up some of that at the sunshine studio and it's amazing this is just a sample size that I got in some nag champa which is how I knew I liked it um, and then after that, we went downstate and picked up Nick, or upstate, and uh, had a really good day. And then I told you I came back and got my grandson, Carter. So um, let me show you what I got. Speaking of incense, actually yesterday, um, when I went over to the cave for dinner last night, Tom had picked me up um, some new blends, Precious Sandalwood. This is a great company. He got this at the Arati store. I've mentioned them before. I need to take you guys. I took you with me over there one time, but I didn't have permission to film in the store. So I have to go back and bring you guys and show you because they have incredible stuff. Um, and here's some frankincense too. So Tom keeps me well supplied with incense. And from Amazon, just briefly, I'll show you. I picked up some... Uh, wild cocoa butter, I told you, I've been, you know, body butter has been on the brain. So I um, need to whip up a batch for a friend of my sister's, so I needed some more cocoa butter, so I got some of that. And this is a really great company, too. Um, wild Foods, check them out. Very cool. Um, and I also got, because you can't have enough essential oils, I picked up some, um, pine needle. Yule is coming. And I normally get my nail polish at the Dollar Tree. You know how cheap I am about stuff. But this is one that I keep going back to, and I've used this in a lot of my Galaxy products. I actually got two of them. Um, this is... What's the name of the company? Clean Color, Clean with a K, number 94, Hollow Chrome. And this is just my favorite hollow glitter nail polish. It's It looks black as you're looking at it, I think. It looks black to me now, but it's really a deep purpley blue galaxy kind. And I think these were like two for five dollars. So it was worth it to me. That's all I got from Amazon. And I told you, Tom and I went to the Salvation Army. And for those of you who know me, know how much I love my thrift store, Salvation Army. We used to do the auction all the time. I like, you know, have no problem with secondhand things. Um, I actually prefer them sometimes. And who doesn't love a bargain? So 
we had a great time there and I'll show you what I got and I've been waiting all week to show you guys so I haven't used or washed any of this stuff yet um, first I got a pair of jeans and these are like brand new Levi's love me some Levi's um, just you know boot cut straight leg needed some new jeans hang on I need to get a sip of my coffee I've had the same uh, cold or flirted with the same cold that everybody else is passing around uh, lately. So I've had a little of that going on. Anyway, okay, jeans. I think they were like $7.99, okay? Um, new Levi's are like 60 bucks. So although I think you can get Levi's certain kind and uh, Walmart carries them for like 20 ish But anyway, I got a shirt. And I think, I'm not a sweater girl, I'm not into sweaters, but this is a knit, um, and it's very simple, and it's got, I love, you know, everything has to be flowy, I don't like form-fitting clothes at all, um, it has a bit of a bell sleeve, which I love, and I don't know how well you can see, but there's this detailing around the neck. And I just love very simple, um, classic kind of, you know, you know how I do. Um, I want to say that was like maybe $2.99, um, another shirt. Again, I'm a Virgo. I'm very practical. I like classics. Um, I love cotton and natural fibers. This is... 45% cotton, 55% linen, and this still has a tag on it. So this was $3.99, and it's just a basic black button-up shirt. Um, and I would wear something like this, um, like open, you know, over a, a print shirt or something, but really nice quality. It's a Liz Clay or Liz Baker I'm not a label girl, I'm not into brand names, but I could tell a quality garment when I feel it, um, which is one of the advantages um, or disadvantages of shopping for clothes online. I'm a tactile girl, I need to fit, feel things, so um, yeah, basic black button up, and that was $3.99, and then the rest are just some random housewares, like I needed anything, Kanmari Kanmari. But these all sparked joy. So, uh, first and for foremost, I believe I have a Pyrex addition, uh, addiction and, a, and now an addition. Um, these are just three basic glass Pyrex bowls for everything. Um, I can't get enough. I have a bowl addiction. I'm sorry. You guys know it's true. But I love these. I love these for food prep. I love them for ease of microwavability. Um, even though I try to stay away from using the microwave a lot, but anyway, those, I think they were like, I'm sorry, I took the tags off of everything, but maybe $3, not more than that. I got, I don't know why I got this because I still have some that I got from the auction that I haven't used yet. Um, but I love metal. I love old things and I love hooks. So this encompasses all three. It is a metal butterfly hook, and yes, I got it, and I'll hang it on the wall, and I'll hang something from my hook. I got, because Lord knows I don't have enough glass bottles, you know I have a bowl addiction, you know I have a bottle addiction, and a book addiction. Uh, this came without the cork, and that's fine. Um, it was 59 cents. And, you know, I will turn this into something. I needed it. It sparked joy. It spoke to me. Also, this, which is a little beat up, and that's fine, and I could totally alter this. This was $1.59, and this actually kind of matches one I have made by the same company, I'm sure, um, a purple one over on my shelf back there that says Potion Booster, 
These were originally $4.99. This was like a, a Walmart item or something, but I'm going to alter this. It is glass, you know, so yeah, giggly, 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 giggly goosebumps. And last but not least, I told you this was a small haul. I couldn't resist a pack of Vincent Van Gogh note cards and envelopes. And they are reproductions, obviously, of some of his work. And they're just little note cards. So I'll either use these in some mixed media or actually use them as cards to send. And they have matching envelopes. And that was also a dollar fifty nine. So that's it for my haul, you guys. I'll see you back here when it's time to. Uh, we're gonna have to cool off the vegetables, squeeze our garlic, and put everything in a pot with the broth. I'll add some extra water, the rest of the spices, coconut milk, ginger. I'm gonna let it cook. And then when it's done cooking, we're going to puree it. And right now I'm starving and I'm not going to make a sandwich. I'll grab something. I don't know. What am I going to eat? I'll figure it out. I'll let you know. I'll probably just have a snack. I do have an avocado. I can make guacamole. You never know. I'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> Bye. Okay, guys. It's going to be a while before I'm eating soup. So I'm starving right now. It's about 2.30. I'm still doing intermittent fasting, by the way. Um, and I've decided I may as well just make a sandwich. So I pulled out, um, let's try these Smart Deli Veggie Ham Slices. I have some vegan mayo. We'll do a little tomato. I'll put a slice of this uh, Go Veggie Cheese also. I do want to try this melted. I'll, we'll do that maybe next week. Do a little lettuce. And I have some oatmeal bread. I'll show you, I open the packet of the ham slices and I'll show you what they look like. Um, looks like bologna. And Tom said he would like to try them like fried, like he would fry bologna. But we're going to just try them in a sandwich. I'm going to make my sandwich. I'll see you back here. Okay, this is what I came up with. Looks good. So I just did mayo, lettuce, tomato, a little bit of salt and pepper one piece of the cheese, and two of the deli slices. So, cheers. Mmm. 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 You know, it's really good. I could taste the smokiness to it. Now, to be fair, I didn't taste it on its own. The ham, I'm speaking, the ham. Um, I didn't try it. I should have taken a bite of it before I made the sandwich. So, I don't know how it tastes on its own. But in the sandwich itself, this is really, really tasty. So, and the cheese too. The cheese is really good. Hmm. Hmm. Excellent. And for those who know, know I have to have a pickle. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm going to finish my sandwich. I'm looking at the clock on the stove. There's six minutes left. I stirred them about halfway through. Stirred the squash and the veggies so they wouldn't stick. They're coming along nicely. So once they come out of the oven, we're going to let them rest until they cool down a little bit, including the garlic. And then we'll combine everything in a pot. So I'll see you back here. I keep saying I'll see you in a few minutes. I'll see you when I see you. Okay, I just pulled these out, and of course it smells amazing in here. We have two of them, and the garlic, and I'll show you the garlic. I'm just going to let these cool for about 
20 minutes or so. And then we'll squeeze out the garlic and we'll put everything in a big pot with the rest of our ingredients. So I'll see you then. Okay, so I have everything to go with the exception of the garlic yet. I still need to squeeze that. And literally you just take a clove and they pop right out of the skin. Okay, so I'm going to do that and I'll add that to my vegetables. Once all that's done, I'm going to add, um, oh, I could do that right now. I have, here's about six cups of water. I, my vegetable broth is super concentrated. I make it myself, so this isn't going to be really diluted. And I told you before, I have about two cups or so of homemade vegetable broth. If I need to add more water, I will. Um, but I'm going to put the squash in. And like I said, we'll do the garlic. I have about a quarter cup of coconut cream. You can use coconut milk. You can leave it out, unsweetened. Here's our ginger. And then, honestly, I can't do it with one hand, you guys, but I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of this coriander, a quarter teaspoon of the cayenne, some salt and pepper and about a tablespoon or so of maple syrup and then we're gonna let it boil okay so I'll come back here when everything's in and we're boiling away all right managed to get the dishes done there's a fresh pot of coffee brewing and this is just about to come to a boil now um, as you can see so I am going to lower this and let it simmer for, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, let's say 25 minutes or so. Um, and I'm going to put a lid on it. And we'll turn this down, I don't know, to like medium-ish. All right, I'll see you back here in about a half an hour. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes or so, and I've been stirring this intermittently. I'm going to leave the cover off now and just let it cool a little bit before we try to puree it. Um, I'm going to try it with the immersion blender, um, but if I'm not having good luck with that, then I'll do it in the blender. So, I'll let it cool. Yummy! Okay, so let's try the immersion blender first, and I have this one. It's all plugged in, and we'll give it a whirl. Okay, this is working great, you guys. I'm not going to have to use the blender, so I'm going to finish doing this, and I'll see you. Okay guys, this is looking done. It smells amazing. I'll meet you back here for a taste test. Okay guys, I'm just going to do a mini taste test because Tom's actually coming over for dinner tonight and I want to save my appetite, but I put a little fresh black pepper and that's all. I haven't tasted it yet, but I know I'll need like pepper. I probably want salt. It looks like baby food puree. Golden delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. You can really taste the heat of the cayenne coming through. And a teeny hint of that maple syrup. Personally, I think it could use a little salt, but I have a salt addiction. So um, I probably will add a little bit to it, but I love the consistency. If you like it a little thicker, you can add more. Um, oh, I just got a little piece of ginger. Amazing. 
You could add more of the coconut cream or milk. Less water. Oh, I think it's really good. Yum. Super happy with this. Hope I've inspired you guys. Give it a try. While it's in season, take advantage of it. This is another super long vlog. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, you guys. If you've made it to the end, write the word squash below if you feel like it. I love you guys so much. Hugs. Peace and love. I'll talk to you very soon. I'll have some art coming out soon. I promise. I'll talk to you guys. I love you so much. Take care.